<laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and others, welcome back to Buzz Comics. So, uh, you know, this this came out uh, yesterday, this announcement from uh, Marvel. Uh, they're doing a new What If style miniseries uh, for Spider-Man. And it's called Spider's Shadow. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, back in, I think, the 70s, 80s, maybe, uh, Marvel uh, started doing this thing. Uh, it was an, uh, a recurring, it was an ongoing mini, no, it wasn't a mini series. Yeah, it was an ongoing series called What If? And uh, the premise behind What If? was, uh, you know, a character called The Watcher would, would kind of serve as this, like, omnipotent narrator. Um, he's part of, like, the larger cosmology of the Marvel Universe. And he would, uh, he would look back at, like, uh, key moments within Marvel's history and he would posit to the reader, you know, what if this had happened a little differently? Um, <clears throat> and then the the issue which followed, which I think was generally only about 32 pages long. I think they were all like standard size issues. Um, but the issue which followed would kind of like show us like, hmm, what would happen if, if things took a turn in this way? And they were almost always depressing as balls. <laughs> Like it was, it was some of the like best misery fuel you could get for like a dollar or whatever the fuck, you know, comic books cost like 30 years ago. But, um, you know, I, I read most of them a long time ago. I have no memory of them now because they, they didn't matter. They were fun enough stories. Uh, Ooh, you know what one I own? I own one in which, uh, the Punisher gets the Venom symbiote. And it's uh, what if what if Punisher became Venom, and um, it's it's basically every criminal in New York City fucking dies because if you thought Punisher was awesome before, given the Venom symbiote, holy shit, that's a good that's a good uh, that's a good that's a good story, but. Uh, <clears throat> So they long ago, like, retired the actual uh, series, What If? But um, Marvel has never kind of stopped doing these uh, these imaginary tales, if you will, about uh, uh, random possibilities within the larger Marvel universe. Um, a while back, actually, they did one maybe like three, four, five years ago at most, where uh, you know, what if Spider-Man became the Punisher? It was pretty badass. He had like a blue Spider-Man suit and like uh, Gatling guns, like mini Gatling guns or something like a, a, attached to his web shooters. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Peter Parker back and eat. Um, so, yeah, Spider Spider Shadow is the newest <clears throat> iteration of this like what if light uh, concept, if you will. Um, and it's what if uh, Peter had never gotten rid of the Venom symbiote back in the day, which which I think is kind of a kind of a fun idea, but I I, I have such mi I have mixed feelings about it because my immediate question is like how how much mileage can you really get out of that idea like you know um the the idea back in the day was that like if you um let the symbiote like you know they if you didn't get rid of it it would slowly consume him you know take over his life uh, further influence his his thoughts and and such and like bond with him completely um which is just kind of funny cuz like it doesn't do that to like Eddie Brock and i i know that that's I know that that's, uh, first of all, it's highly debatable. I know that, like, the symbiote since has gotten a lot more character development. Like, we've learned a lot more about it. Um, so it's, 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 it's possible that things might not turn out that way. Like, obviously, when they first came up with the idea of the alien costume, nobody thought, like, oh, shit, we're going to give this to this other guy, and he's going to be a great villain. But then that great villain, we're going to decide, like, because everyone in the 90s is all about edge, uh, we're going to make him an edgy anti-hero instead. Uh, and uh, and they keep trying to make Venom a villain, and then everyone goes, no, we like Venom being an anti-hero. Fuck you. Um, so, you know, they couldn't have known all that, you know? So, of course, when they first conceptualized the symbiote, it was just this, like, malevolent force that was, like... Uh, going for like some sci-fi body horror, like trying to take Peter over and like ruin his life and make him into a mindless meat puppet uh, for its purposes. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm kind of curious, like wh where do they think they're going to go for this? They're not just doing one issue with this bad boy. Oh no, this is a four issue mini series. This is going to get like its own fucking trade. Now, um, it is uh, being written 
by uh, Chip Zdarsky, who can write a pretty damn good uh, Spider-Man story. One of his more notable uh, stories was, uh, oh, which, what was it? Life Story, which I had very mixed feelings about, but people other than me absolutely loved. When he wrote that, uh, that was great. That had art by, um, oh God, I love him. I'm blanking on his fucking name. Oh God. Oh no. Why, why can't I think of this, this person's name? Mark Bagley and art by Mark Bagley. And it was perfect. Uh, in, in the art department anyway, I, I thought some of the stories were just kind of like a little gloom and doom, too gloom and doom for my taste. And, uh, what have you, but you know, and it, by the end it turns into a Miles story and I'm just not really about Miles Morales, but whatever. Um, but I get why a lot of people liked it. Um, so clearly he can write some damn good, uh, Spider-Man, just like he can write some damn good Daredevil. Uh, that book is still amazing, by the way. I need to talk about Daredevil more on this channel, but, uh, so yeah, so Spider-Man, Spider-Shadow is just like, what if Pete kept the symbiote? And I mean, I'm sure that, you know, uh, Chip Zdarsky says that it's it's going to be really dark. It's going to go into some really dark places, things supposedly that we haven't seen before. I don't know if I believe that. I mean, this sounds like boilerplate bullshit that like creators say every time they put out one of these projects, like, you know, you're going to we're going to show you things you've never seen, things they never let us do before. Oh, it's going to be amazing. And uh, the art is doing uh, being done by someone named uh, Pascal Perry, who I am not familiar with at all. I haven't looked up his art. I should do that. Um, and the colors are going to be done by Matt Hollingsworth. And Matt Hollingsworth is a fun colorist. So uh, that's cool. But yeah, this is just a short video because there ain't much that I can say. Uh, I'm, I guess it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, I, I want to get more excited the fact that this is a mini series and not a one off really helps. But I'm also like, what are you going to do with the, with this whole like, oh, I can't get rid of the, he keeps the symbiote. Well, you know, it's funny because Chip Zdarsky, when he wrote Life Story, there's a fun plot point in there where um, Peter makes a statement, which is always something that was in the back of my brain all the time forever. Where he goes like, of course I know the symbiote is alive. Are you kidding me? I'm a scientist. I checked it immediately as soon as I got back to Earth. <laughs> because of course he would. And it's not something he did in the original story, but of course he would. And I really liked that Chip Zdarsky like, called it out. But now he's writing a story <laughs> in which Peter keeps the damn thing. <laughs> and like, it just starts consuming him. <laughs> so... <laughs> Oops, I don't know. I but he's he's aware though. He's aware of the 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 um unintentional character assassination which came before. So I'll be interested to see what he what he does with that, how he justifies it, you know, where he takes it. There, there's gotta be more to the story than just Peter slowly losing control. There has to be. I I have faith. Um sorry about that. I have to remember to mute my phone when I start doing these. <sighs> So we'll have to see. They're going to have time to flush it out because I got four issues. Uh, Chip Zdarsky's a good writer. Um, I don't know anything about Pascal Perry, but I'm going to hope like hell he doesn't suck. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, maybe we'll review it issue by issue as it comes out because I have a feeling people are going to be kind of interested in this, even if I'm not like 100% sold. All right. Uh, let me know how you... Uh, <clears throat> Oh my god, I'm gonna kill these people in my work chat. Um, let me know uh, what you guys think about the music in the background for this episode. I wanted to change things up a little bit, see if it made my ramblings easier to listen to um, and helped my retention time. Uh, you know, uh, if you like it, let me know. Uh, also, uh, if you want to help support what I do here, uh, you can buy me a coffee at the link down below and make a one-time $3 donation. Keep the lights on over here at uh, Boz Comics in my office, which is my desk. Um, <clears throat> and of course, uh, if this is your first time here, uh, please feel free. Like, comment, subscribe, feed the ravenous beast that is the YouTube algorithm. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Hopefully with less annoying background noise from my phone. Take care, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.